Life has come full circle for Boise's John Swarthout. Growing up in the North End, John got into theater when he was just 12 years old. And John was all in from that time on. A year later, he formed his own theater company. At 14, he took to ballet, and that took him around the country, performing with ballet companies from coast to coast. But it also took him into schools, trying to get kids assembled in gymnasiums interested in the arts. That reaction he got from those kids, well, that planted a seed for John, so that by the mid-90s, when he was back in Boise attending BSU for a semester, he started taking dance theater troops to Treasure Valley schools. That idea would become the arts education program he called TRICA, the Treasure Valley Institute for Children's Arts. And for the last several years, they've offered summer camps and dance classes for area kids. But now they've expanded to include a preschool where math and science are taught through the arts and humanities. John Circle closes this spring with TRICA having a permanent home in Boise's North End a 15-year odyssey that not only restored a neighborhood icon, but reinforced John's faith in his community. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? This. Orange. Orange who? Is a typical morning. I'm glad I didn't say banana. At this <laughs> North End Boise Preschool. This place is the happiest place on earth. On one side of the room, they're putting paint on a fish. They know some other joke. While on the other... If a joke isn't landing, what are some things you can say? Is this microphone on? Yeah, is this thing on? Tap, tap, tap. They're putting punches right. into their jokes. I like to say there's big, like, Muppet Show energy when you come down here. Are you even working? Helping them work on their waka waka wakas is working comic Alicia Donahue who's also been a teacher for 25 years. You know, you, you teach what you love. But Alicia says she's never worked a room like this. Her <laughs> joy forward, you know, everyone who, who works here, all the teachers, the entire staff just come, come with a passion and a joy that I, you know, haven't found at a lot of other places where I've worked. This is the Treasure Valley Institute for Children's Arts otherwise known as TRICA. If you can come out of preschool with the confidence to like go forward and do public speaking, it already puts you ahead. And here. How's everyone doing tonight? How's everyone, woo! You know, if you learn how to tell a joke. Oh. Bonus. The arts aren't just part of the program. It's founded on the belief that the arts do have a unique power to inspire children to a higher standard of excellence. Good. Trika brings in local artists like a potter. Wow, amazing. Who happens to also be a parent and knows working with clay. Because it's so malleable and you can do anything with it and then smush it up and start all over again. Can be a little like working with kids. Okay. You see the greatest Woo. That's you. It has brought so much out of my son. He is definitely a performer, and I don't think that we would have necessarily known that about him had he not been here. How is everybody doing tonight? Ooh. Knock, knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Don't cry, it's just a joke. Ah. What they are working on, or working out, is just as significant as where it is happening. What's happening to them right now? What's the big word? Um, Me Meditate. Metamorphosis. Yeah. Metamorphosis would be a fitting metaphor. Yes, it was a mess. <laughs> For the old Emmanuel Methodist Church that has been here since 1907. But this place of worship hasn't always been welcoming. It had fallen into disrepair since the mid-60s. And by the 1990s, it was a frequent stop for Boise cops. This was a flop house. It was a meth house and the whole neighborhood. It was the kind of place, if you lived in this neighborhood, where you would cross the street to go around this building. Here on that knot. That's called a knot. Can you believe it? That is, until John Swarthout got involved. It was beautiful, but decaying and falling apart at the same time. John first tried to buy it back in 2005. I said, well, this place would make a wonderful center for children's arts. And he said, well, why don't you buy it? And I said, it's for sale? And he goes, sometimes. <laughs> like, just like that. It took him two years to convince the owner to sell. It was $600,000 for just this building. How much then to turn it into this? Seven and a half million dollars. The building, built by Boise's well-known architect, Charles Hummel, listed on the National Register of Historic Places, was also once listed as one of the state's most endangered. And the only one to have now been removed from that list 
the only one. How bad was it? It was pretty much the worst you could imagine. It was about to fall down, the roof like that, the walls were out, the stones were falling off the building, the mortar between the stones was like powder. There were years of drug activity here. People called it the crack house church and it, it was. Oh, if John had only known the work cut out for him. The water's been running down the side of the building. When he took over in 2007, it still would not have deterred him from his dream. One day this whole building will be filled with dancing kids and kids making art. And Miss Annie hit it. A 15 year self-fulfilling prophecy. That's right, high elbows, salt and pepper. Filled yes! fully. She's on fire. You've taken an eyesore in this community that people thought should be torn down. And Triple it's kind of now like a beacon almost. Yeah, it's so cool. I love that what used to be a church, a place of inspiration and enlightenment is now doing the same thing through the power of the arts. The building is wonderful, but the mission and vision and what happens inside of it and outside in the community with the TRICA programs is even more valuable because it's inspiring the children. You know, John will be the first to tell you his prophecy is anything but self-fulfilled. It took a lot of donations and grants to get it done, big and small. More than 2,500 have pitched in financially from the likes of Girl Scout troops to the J.A. and Catherine Albertson Family Foundation. Even the stonework outside was redone by a company for half the cost. Well, now that they're in the building, doesn't mean Trica will be confined. As well as the preschool for the arts, they will continue with summer camps, as well as the in-school and the after-school stuff. And John hopes to produce a show he wrote. And there are plans to expand next door to the church's parsonage property. It's taken John and Trica 26 years to get this far. And he has big plans for the next few years.